Good morning, everybody. It's Skylar again. Um, I decided to drop this video a little early because um, kind of damage control. I guess people are kind of upset that my videos aren't that great quality. Um, I'm just starting out, so please bear with me. Um, I just want to share my experiences with you guys. So um, any support that you give is greatly appreciated. Um, eventually, I'll be able to get you know, better equipment and stuff like that, but I have my iPad Generation 4, which is what I'm working with, so if the picture quality isn't that great, I apologize, but let's get started. Okay, so the most important part of any beauty routine that I've realized is making sure that your natural skin without the makeup on it um, looks the best it can, because without the perfect canvas, you're not gonna be doing a good job with your makeup, so I'd like to showcase a couple of things that I like to use on a daily basis, they're awesome. Um, this is from Avon. Um, I sell Avon. You can uh, order this on the link below. Um, this is a new vitamin C face serum. Um, it's really great. It like, I don't know what it does, but like you wake up the next morning and your face is like two years younger. I don't, I don't know how it does it, but I guess it like removes skin cells. It also helps stop grow facial hair because the um, citric acid in it, I guess kind of like puts a stop on your hair follicles. So what I like to do is just put a little dab there and then blend it in. Okay, now that that's, whoops. Now that that's done, the next step is to moisturize. Um, my favorite moisturizers are Confidence in a Cream, which is right, I don't know how to do this. Right there. and Tree Hut Bare Minimizing, or Hair Minimizing Body Butter, which is awesome because it also helps stop like hair growth on your face. Um, you just use this in the morning and at night and it like kills the hair follicles. So it'll grow less, which is awesome. So I'm gonna apply that real quick. Ta-da! Anyway, so when it comes to facial feminization, it's all about changing shadows and lines to make yourself look more um, round and to make this part of your face larger than this part of your face. It can be more challenging than it sounds, but I'm gonna give you some like basic idea of how to do that. Um, but first we need to cover all this up. Um, I haven't gotten the laser hair removal yet, so I still have to deal with covering up my facial hair after I shave. So what I like to do um, is I have this, which has a bronzer in it, because the warmer of a color you use with your um, your co your uh, cover-up, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, the easier it is to cover like facial hair and stuff like that, because it has blue and gray tones, so you need a warmer color to cancel that out. So I like to put some of this on my hand, like this. Okay, so now that you have like the bronzer on your hands, I use this, which is Joa, and it's creamy concealer. Um, it was like four dollars at CVS. Uh, this this tutorial is all about like normal people funding, and like I'm not a makeup artist like some of these people on here, so don't be worried about like crazy brushes and stuff. I like to use my fingers, like old school style. Um, if you've seen Jeffrey Star video where he actually uses his fingers, like in the old days, he's like, oh my god, this turned out better than my brushes, which is pretty cool. So anyway. So you put a little bit on there because it's a lighter shade and you mix it in with the bronzer and you use it to cut oh shit okay you use it to cover up this real quick all right I totally missed this up so we're just gonna go over this, which I've done this before, so it works anyway. Primer is the most important step after like making sure that your face and your skin is like perfect to begin with. My favorite primer is Il Maquillage. Um, I got it for free because I got their concealer and it was horrible. So they like refunded me and gave me this. Their customer service is pretty great. Um, their products, not so much, but we'll see. I like this a lot. So, 
Just put a little bit on your hands and pay extra attention if you have not gotten laser surgery done to around where you shaved because it'll smooth out all the bumps and irritation that you got from shaving, which will really help when you put on your makeup to not show that you are transgender and that you have facial hair, which by the way, facial hair does not make you any less feminine. I have plenty of cisgender friends that grow a hell of a beard more than I do. Anyway, so yeah. All over your face now as you can tell after I apply that it's kind of like it blurs your face a little bit that's because it closes all your pores and fills them in I like to do a second round of primer my second choice that I use afterward is also available at the Avon link below it's Avon magics prime it's awesome I actually like it better than the other one because it has like a nice scent to it and it goes on nice and creamy so also pay extra attention to the facial hair okay so now that that's done as you can see it's nice and blurred you just need to let it like set in real fast so like do whatever you want Alexa play Ariana Grande shuffling songs by Ariana Grande okay bitch <laughs> Okay, Alexa, music off. Okay, now, we're going to redo this part because I messed up. I'm sorry, but I like to put another, like, round on anyway. So, just more bronzer, some more of this. Go back over this. Okay, so now that that's done, um, I like to put on like a cover up real fast, um, which is also like your foundation. Um, this is pretty gross, but I lost a cap, so this is how I've been using this. But this is Matte Poreless by Maybelline, and it has like really, like a million shades, and they're always like perfect true match. So just put a little bit in your like you want to put it up top because you want to widen the part of your face where your eyes is. Uh, like a little bit there, a little dot there. Um, also, the chin area is a problem for like us transgender women, so you want to like really accent the chin, make it a little more round. Now, another problem that we have as transgender women is before... Um, facial feminization surgery um we usually have like an issue with our jawline here so you can actually shape your jawline by adding like a lighter tone there and then contouring it later so as you can tell it just like rounded out my face a little bit okay so now we're gonna blend that in i use my finger like a normal human being, I, I have, okay, listen, I have like 8 billion brushes. I just don't understand the point, like, okay, I'm not a makeup artist, I just want to go to the food store, because, like, that's what I do, I go to the food store. So, blend that in. Now, you can add more light undertones for when you do your contouring to make it, like, come out better. Um, I like to accent my nose so that I look thinner, so I just put, like, a little bit there. A little... I'm using the Joa stuff again, just without the bronzer. Accent the cheek to make it look more feminine. The chin. Okay, so as you can see... My face is looking rounder, fuller, more feminine, which is what we're going for here. Okay. Now, as you can tell, like, if you put it as the, um, the, um, highlighting concealer as close to the bridges of your nose as possible, it narrows the nose, which is also an issue that, as a transgender woman, a lot of us have. Um, but with contouring and adding highlights, you can make it look a lot smaller, which is great. So, now you can see, like, my face looks more round. Um, I like to start contouring with, okay, another thing that I've noticed since I started, uh, since I've been on hormones for, like, a while, you'll start to see that your hairline starts to come forward. Um, hair that didn't grow here before is now growing there. 
um, but not like enough to like really be noticeable. So to make it like better, I use this palette. I'm not, it's by Pure. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be, but there's a brown, a dark brown here and a red here, which is like a blush. And this is a highlighter. So I like to take the brown and a little bit of the red since I have like reddish brown hair and just go in and like fill this in a little bit so that it rounds out the face even more. So as you can tell, it just like brought a rounder appearance to my face, brought um, my hairline forward, which is a very feminine thing to do. So now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so now that that's done, the next thing that we are gonna do is like work on building a rounder shape and fuller cheeks with um, using contouring powder. So I like a very like, um, dramatic contour in the edges. Um, I'm kind of like alternative. I have like a very alternative style, so it's okay for me to do that. But if you want a more natural look, just use a lighter powder. So just like take all this bullshit here and put it behind your ear and put the darkest part of the contour right by your ear, like in your, um, hair there. All right, so as you can tell, there's like a start of a contour there. I do like the edges first. Now, to contour the jawline, you always want to do it with your mouth open. So I'm going to show you that in a second. Oh, look who came to visit. It's Nala. Say hi, Nala. Come here, baby. This is Nala, the big scary pit bull. Oh my God, so scary. I don't know why people are afraid of these dogs. They're like the best dogs ever. I have two of them. Here comes the other one. Hey, Pepper, say hi. Hi, Pepper. Oh my God. Okay, now after that accident and distraction, we're gonna do the jawline. So I like to use a smaller brush first and then like use a bigger brush later just to make a more dramatic cut. So when you're doing, when you're contouring your jawline, do it with your mouth open. Cause if you do it with your mouth closed, it's gonna show up when you're talking. Okay, and then another problem we have as trans women is our chin. Mine's like a little bit longer than I want it to be. So just put a little bit there. We'll blend it later. And then a little bit under the lip. Um, I do that because I like a dramatic lip and putting a little bit of a shadow there makes it more natural looking and fuller lips. Okay, and then next we're gonna work on the nose. Okay, so for the nose, um, it's all about adding light here and shadow here, but also light on the cheeks to make it look thinner. So you start from your eyebrow and create like a thin nose shape. Um, you don't want that to be like stuck there because then people will notice. So you're gonna blend it in later, but I like to put a little bit here and start blending that. And then like kind of around the first half of the crease of the eye. Okay, so I did the other side too. It looks a little dark on this side. That's just because of the lighting from the window. But as you can see, it's like narrowed the nose. You can also like add like a little bit of a dip here. So it looks even more narrow on either side and then to make you like have like more of an upturned nose look a tiny tiny bit of dark powder underneath like that and then a little bit on top like that so as you can tell it like gives you more of like a buttony nose appearance okay now that we did the nose, the jaw, the chin, and the cheekbones. I also, okay, I'm obsessed with that 70s show right now, so I like to do like a Mila Kunis eye. She has like very protruding eyes, so to add a more feminine protruding eye, just add a little bit of 
dark powder underneath of the eye and around the crease, which we're gonna like fill in more of that later. But as you can tell, adding darkness under the eye adds a lot of femininity to your look, which I feel like a lot of these um, tutorials on YouTube kind of don't tell you that. And add a little darkness here too. Because the bigger your eyes look, there you go. See, it's like, just woke up, pretty girl look. Okay. You also want to pay attention to like the top of your forehead. Um, a lot of us have an issue with having too large of a forehead. So you want to make that look or appear a little bit rounder and a little smaller. So you're just going to go over a little bit. Down. Okay, see how it like, add a little extra to the sides here. And you can also make your side profile look more feminine by like adding some here. It really like shortens the length of the face. Okay, so as you can tell, like, it's really starting to work out. So now we're going to just blend the, the harshness of the smaller brushes contouring with a larger brush. It kind of blends, adds a little extra depth to the shot. Shut up, Nala. I'm talking. Hold on a second. Okay, now that I've not, I've been so rudely interrupted. Okay, now we're going to finish the sides of the face. Nala, don't you dare. Oh, here she comes again. She likes to eat my brushes. So be careful if you have a dog and don't leave brushes anywhere. See, oh my God, look, makeup. I'm gonna make you pretty. <laughs> Love her to death, but she's a pain in the ass. Okay, so yeah. Um. Now, what do I wanna do next? You know, if you're like getting kind of frustrated because you feel like you're not getting anywhere, it's usually because until you put your lipstick and mascara on, it's not going to look as feminine as you want it to. So, like I said, I like to, like I said, I like to do a very dramatic lip. Um, the color I'm going to be using right now is, um, I think it's Berry and it's by Dose of Color, which is, I got this, I get, I used to get BoxyCharm, which by the way is an amazing investment. If you get BoxyCharm for a couple months, it gives you enough makeup to last like a year. Okay. So to make my lips like big, like Angelina Jolie lips, I'm going to overdraw them like a slight amount. Not too much that it's going to look weird up close, but enough to make them look plump. So as you can tell, like the bottom lip already looks like stung by a bee, you know? So a lot of people like tell me that they have problems creating the arch in the lip, which sometimes I mess it up too, as you can see from some of my pictures on my social media, but the best way to do it is to make an X first where the clef is okay after that's done I like to overdraw the top lips as well
So adding that element early on in your makeup, earlier than normal on your makeup routine, like if you're getting frustrated, like, oh, this isn't working, at least like the lip will like add a lot of femininity and you'll feel better about it. So next we're gonna work on the eyebrows. Okay, so actually before I do my eyebrows, I lied. To add dimension to an overdrawn lip so it looks more like Kylie Jenner and less like human Barbie, we're gonna um, add some gloss on top. And a lot of the time, gloss has like a sharper edge on its brush thing. So it'll help like create slicker lines. All right. Now I'm a weirdo when it comes to my eyebrows. I do things like totally not the way you're supposed to do them. But I just, you know, I found this secret out on accident. Oh, Jesus. Um, when my, uh, eyeliner pencil dried out and I got this at BoxyCharm, which is like this powder that when you add water, it turns into eyeliner. So I just twist it in there. Like I wet it and I twist it in there. So it gets nice and covered in eyeliner. And then just trace the bottom first of your natural eyebrow. Um, so even though it's like an eyeliner, it kind of blends well because it's a, like a watercolor. So as you can tell, it like blends in nicely with my natural eyebrow. I'm gonna do the other side real quick, be right back. Okay, so as you can tell, my eyebrows are like on fleek. Well, kind of, they're a little messed up, but whatever, I don't care. Um, the next thing, hold on, this is really bothering me. <sighs> okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is wings, which I can't do on this iPad. I'm sorry. So I'll be right back with wings on my eyes. Okay. So I added my wings, which they're a little uneven. I'm not the best person to do makeup. So like I said, this is not like, I'm not a makeup artist. None of you are makeup artists. Well, some of you are, but this is like just normal everyday, like girl stuff. So don't really worry about the wings being uneven because I'm going to put on fake lashes. So you're not really gonna see them too much. The next thing I like to do is a blush, um, but I don't really use traditional blush. I like to use the, the matte lipstick that I put on before. So I just put a couple dots there and I'm gonna blend it with my finger. Like I said, very blue collar makeup here. Kind of blend it in with the contour. And to make the lip fuller, I mean the cheek fuller, add more color to the bottom of the cheek here and lighter up top, which we're gonna add like an incandescent highlighter later. So it's gonna cover up like any, um, like uh, too much of the blush color. You're not gonna see it on the top. So don't worry about how that looks so much right now. So as you can tell, it's like, I'm starting to get like an Ariel from Little Mermaid look there. 
And next we're gonna prime our eyelashes. So hold on. Okay, so for an eye primer or an eyelash primer, I like to use Lancome Royal Treatment. It's dual. It comes with the primer on this side and the mascara on this side. I like to prime my eyelashes before I put the fake eyelashes on because um, the extra like adhesive that the primer adds like really helps. So I'll be right back. So these are the lashes that I'm gonna be using. They're Eyler Lux, um, and they're the winged ones because I have almond-shaped eyes, so you kind of want to accent the upward tilt of the eye. Um, I got these off Amazon for $2. I get a subscri subscription to them, so they come once a week. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you save money that way as well. So I'm going to put those on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I put the lashes on. Um, little tip, just so you know, if the lashes are too long for the size of your eye, you can clip them with a nail clipper. I like to clip them on the side where the lash is longer because otherwise you get these crazy ass, like, bat wing lashes, like 2008 Lady Gaga, which is ridiculous. Anyway, so, now that that's all done, the next step is going to be adding a highlight to the brow and a shadow to the eyelid. One minute. Okay, so this is Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow by Ciate. I guess that's how you spell it. I don't know. Ciate. London. Um, it's pretty cool. It's like incandescent. So it's pink, but it shines green. It's pretty awesome. So... I'm going to add a little bit of that underneath the arch of the eyebrow, okay. See how it adds like a very feminine shine to it. Um, and then I'm going to do the eyelid. You're simply going to close your eye and like go over where the crease is. I'm going to do it in the mirror, so I'll be right back. Okay. So, now that that lid is done and that's done, you're gonna a tiny little bit of sparkle right there. Which brightens up the eye and like adds dimension. Okay, added too much dimension there. So now that that shadow's done, it's just a really easy shadow to do. It's not like these other YouTube videos where it's like, oh my God, like, I'm not a Mac technician here. Like, this is crazy. Um, and so to add like a more dimension and to match that, I have this, which is Purple Dream Diamond Glow Powder. And it's by Artist Couture. Um, it's a highlighting powder, so I just like to put a little bit in there on my hands. And just brush it um, from the bridge of the nose, down the cheek, and up. And on the side here, and um, since I want to like kind of blend this in a little bit, I'm going to, it's the same kind of incandescent color. So I'm just going to go over a little bit like that. Put a little bit here. It really brightens up the face. Adds more softness. Okay. Now... Um, I also have this highlighter, which is purple, and I wanted to say, if you use a purple highlighter, it's the best for, like, filling out cheeks and sunlight and stuff like that. It really gives you, like, a more feminine, full cheek. So, we're gonna just put it on, like, the actual cheek, just a little bit. And as you can tell, it really just softened my cheek and 
almost done. Um, then I have, hold on, let me find it. Okay. So then the like second to last step here, cause I'm going to do this. I'm going to do my mascara and then I'm going to do a, um, setting spray. So this is color FX glitter drops. I'm not exactly sure what the hell this is supposed to be for, but I use it for like highlighting my cheekbones. Um, so you just take the little dropper, put a couple things on there. Look, it's like I'm the tin man. Like you can see it's very like glittery. Okay. So we're almost done here. And lastly, I'm going to do the mascara, which is like a two step process for me. Like I said before earlier, I do the primer, which is the Lancome primer and, um, also the, um, mascara. So I'll do that first. This kind of just shapes the lashes. And then I go in with a different mascara to make it more dramatic. So I'll be right back. Okay, and second to last step here, um, Superhero Lash. I got this in one of my Epsy subscriptions, which I can't just Epsy because I hate Epsy. So, um, this is, like, super thick and, like, gives you super dark lashes, which I like because I like a very, like, old Hollywood style look. Um, so I'm going to put that on real quick. Okay. So, as you can tell, my eyelashes are a lot fuller, a lot darker. If you brush up, since sometimes the eyelash can settle facing down a little bit, if you brush up, you can lift it to match your wing. Um, so the last step is we're going to set it. So, I normally like to use the dewy finish. I don't know why I bought this matte finish, but the dewy finish gives you like a nice, like it looks like you're not wearing any makeup, which is pretty awesome. So I have this uh, NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish. It's like $2 on Amazon, but it works really well. Like if you use it, it'll last like 12 hours. So we're going to... And that is the look. I'm just going to do my hair really fast so you can see what the finished product looks like. Okay, and then this is what we're working with here. This is the final look. Like I said, I like a very dramatic, like old school um, Hollywood look. Um, very Lana Del Rey, very um, Nancy Sinatra. Um, you can like do the same steps that I told you, but like more natural makeup, just use like less color. Um, you don't need the lashes, but you can do everything else the same way. But, um, all right. So that is the, uh, end of my, actually, no, hold on. I also want to tell you about this cause this is awesome. This is Avon flourish, um, perfume and it smells amazing and it lasts forever. So also, if you want to order that, you can order that in the link below. All right, everybody. See you next time. Okay, so this is the finished look. Like I said, I like a very, like, old Hollywood, very Lana Del Rey look. Um, you know, mix in a little bit of Angelina in there. Um, but if you wanted to do a more natural look, you can take all the same steps and just use, like, lighter colors. Um lighter uh contouring lighter lipstick don't wear lipstick wear nude lipstick um i also wanted to take a second to tell you about this wonderful perfume that is from avon and it smells delicious it's avon flourish and it lasts for like 12 hours it's amazing mm. so if you want to order that or this vitamin c serum um, or the Magic's Prime, you can do so on the link below. Um, but after that, until next time, everybody.